I'm here at Robotics. This is a binary coding game. Okay. You start the game. Okay. You need to think about a number between 1 and 13. Good. Okay. Is the number in first block? Look, look for the number in box 1. Is it there? Uh, yes. Tab it here. 1 is yes. Yes. Is it there in our box 2? The yes. Is it yes. there in box 3? No. In third block? Didn't tap. Yeah. No. Is yes. it there in box 4? Yes. No. Is the number in fifth block? No. The number in your mind is eleven. <laughs> yes, it's eleven. So what it does is like you know it converts to the binary zero one one zero, and it gives you the answer. All right. So cool. we have we have curriculum uh, for the so teachers. So that that's called play. That's play bits. Play bits. Okay. And the same text we have for uh, visually challenged people, the braille text. Cool. These are for normal children, these are for uh, braille. Yeah, okay. Then uh, on the same basis, they can uh, program the robots using the same tags. They don't, they don't need to have any uh, computer or any screen because what's happening like the young young children are getting addicted to mobile phone these days. Okay. So at the age of uh, three, four, we want them to engage with this kind of activities and learn rather than you know spending time in mobile phone. Okay. And this this product is compatible with uh, Lego blocks and these are Morphin blocks. We have Duplo blocks. So normally a lot of people they have these blocks. So they create different structures, but they don't move. So what happens when you incorporate our product with that and you create something like that, you get like you know different feedback, different visual and audio feedback, so kids get more excited. And if you don't have any block in your home, you can create different paper craft, you can use the controllers, move it. When they say like you know, the, if, if, the, if a child is creating something, a paper craft, and it's moving, it gives them more inspiration to create more. Yeah. So. This this gives you motors. It gives you yeah. We have electric. CPUs, motors. Then we have sound block. These are like sensors, and you can program it using uh, tangible coding. And for the advanced version, we have like pre-programmed blocks plus the tangible coding blocks. And how much does the kit cost? Uh, this like you know we are we are uh, this is a prototype. Yeah. We are going to put it in Indiegogo next month. Okay. So the basic. Uh, with the controller, the basic cost will be about uh, twenty-nine dollar. Okay. And the high end uh, will be about uh, ninety-nine. That's like the tentative cost we have, we have to work out. Playbits is ready. It's ready to ship. We got it crowdfunded through Indiegogo.com four months before. So the retail price MRP of this is uh, one fifty. Oh, that's okay. Okay. And we have another product called Fyro. This is basically for schools age uh, 6 up to 18 years so you can program this robot using the sequential buttons we have pre-programmed cards and you can go to the bluetooth mode connect it with your laptop connect it with your tab and mobile you can use scratch snap and we have another app called Fido pocket code so using that you can use all the mobile sensors and program the robot and it's again Lego compatible so you can create different structures with Lego you can create different uh, robots you can use it as a brain you can program it and move the robot thank you very much thank you sir